We've been in Gainesville all day. When I tell you that this has been a first-class visit, I mean literally it's been a first-class visit. We were on a visit today. I think we've seen more of this place in 12 hours than I could have seen in 10 lifetimes of coming here just as a fan or maybe even a member of the media. So, man, the entire staff here, like tons and tons and tons of respect and thanks to them. We go all over the country. Uh, We talk to the best of the best. We tour the best of the best. I see virtually every major program, or at least make an effort to every year. You noticed some consistent themes with the ones who have their act together and are winning. And you notice some consistent themes with the ones that are losing. All I can tell you is this. The results here, last year and year before, are completely and utterly detached from what it's like here in the building. Unbelievable attention to detail, unbelievable layering, and I use that word intentionally. So there are a lot of places that have a lot of resources in college football. So everybody's got sports science, everybody's got nutrition, everybody's got strength and conditioning. It's the layering and the intricacy, I think, that stands out. And when you walk in a place like Florida, I was talking to Coach Napier, and I was asking him what the energy is here, and he said, well, what do you think it is? And perceptionally, I don't think the outside public's fully aware of how far Florida has come. Because I don't know that they understood there was a long way for Florida to come. And so you sit down with people here, and everybody has the same message. Everybody sings from the same hymnal. It's one message that's always consistent. Any winning programs, any buildings we're in, that is a staple. That's a mainstay. That's a non-negotiable. And so what you notice when you walk around the building here is the record's not where you want it to be yet. But a lot of the stuff that has to come beforehand is in place now. They do it the way it's supposed to be done. Can't put it to you any other way. So it's one of the most intense environments in all of American sport, I would say. And the SEC is a conference that prides itself on elite high-level home venues. And you talk about the swamp now, full throat, like Florida's a contender and they're in the national picture and you gotta go in there. It's, it's the kind of environment that can break the will of a more mentally fragile team. In Gainesville, you get the 90 plus thousand, you get just a sea of humanity, you get that at full throat and you can't hear someone talking next to you, but they're also right on top of you. And then you add in humidity and you added so many elements that are unique to Florida that it makes it one of the iconic game day and home field environments in all the sport. The one thing you gotta remember is while the rest of the world's telling you who you've gotta play, to make sure that that locker room knows that means they got to play Florida. And what is Florida in 2024? That's what you get to define. You don't control anything else. You do control what Florida 2024 means. And it may very well mean that those folks on that schedule got a much bigger task on their hands than they ever thought they had.